In this example, we're going to solve this absolute value equation, but you'll notice it's not just one absolute value. We have actually a nested absolute value expression. So we have an outer absolute value expression, and inside that we have another one. So we're going to go ahead and tackle this by dealing with the outside one first, and then the inside one. Well, how do we solve any absolute value equation? We isolate the absolute value expression, which it is. We have this absolute value expression equal to 1 half x plus 6. And then we do one of these things where we take the positive and the negative. So we're going to say the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 8 equals positive 1 half x plus 6 and the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 8 equals negative 1 half x minus 6. So here I've split it up into my two separate equations, and you'll notice again I still have absolute value expressions, so I'll need to split it up again into two more. So ultimately I'll have four equations to solve. So let's go ahead and make this one down into two separate ones. So we'll add 8 first, and I'll end up with the absolute value of x plus 2 on the left side equals 1 half x plus 14 on the right side. So when we split this up, it'll be x plus 2 equals 1 half x plus 14, and x plus 2 equals negative 1 half x minus 14. So we'll go ahead and solve these two first, and then we'll go back and deal with this other equation. So I can subtract 1 half x, so 1 minus a half will give me the 1 half x, and then 14 minus 2 is 12. So in this case, x will be 24. All right, well how about here? I can add 1 half x, so I'll have 3 halves x equals, and then negative 14 minus 2 is negative 16. And so I'm going to go through and multiply both sides by 2 thirds. So the 2's and the 3's both cancel. So x actually equals, what, negative 32 thirds. Okay, so there's that possible solution. So we need to do the same thing with this one. So when I add 8 to both sides, I have the absolute value of x plus 2 on the left, and negative 1 half x plus 2 on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring that down here and divide it into two separate equations. I have when x plus 2 equals the negative 1 half x plus 2, and the x plus 2 equals positive 1 half x minus 2. So there I've gone ahead and split it up. So let's solve both of these. So when I add 1 half x, I get 3 halves x equals, and 2 minus 2 is 0, so this critter is x equals 0. And this last one, I'm going to subtract the 1 half x, so I have 1 half x equals negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So when I multiply both sides by 2, x equals negative 8. Okay, well now I have four potential solutions. So let's go ahead and write them all out here. I have x equals 0, 24, negative 32 thirds, and negative 8. And those are the four I uh, found from solving each of these equations. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my original equation. And I'm going to solve and just see which of these work. I'll we'll start with 0. That seems pretty easy. 0 plus 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is, well, 2. And 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. So when x equals 0, I have 6 on the left side, and 1 half times 0 is 0, plus 6. Okay, so x equals 0 works. So let's try 24. So 24 plus 2 is 26. Absolute value is positive 26. Minus 8 is going to be 18. Absolute value is 18. So half of 24 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. Okay, that one works as well. Okay, so let's move on to negative 32 thirds. Okay, so negative 32 thirds, and I can almost stop right here. Let's go ahead and do the right side first. So 
1 half times negative 32 thirds equals negative 16 thirds. And then when I add 8, I'll be adding, sorry, when I'm adding 6, I'm adding 18 thirds, which is 2 thirds. Okay, so the right side is 2 thirds. The reason I did the right side first is because if this came out to be negative, there was no reason to do the left side. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that left side then. So we have x plus 2, so negative 32 thirds plus 2, so it's plus 6, so negative 26 thirds. The absolute value of that makes it positive 26 thirds minus 8, so that's minus 24 thirds is 2 thirds. All right, so that works as well. And our last one is x equals negative 8. So negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. And the absolute value of that is going to be positive 6. And 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Absolute value of that is 2. All right, well, 1 half times negative 8 is negative 4 plus 6 is 2. So all four of these answers work. And so we have four solutions to this original equation. They're going to be x equals 0, 24, negative 32 thirds, and negative 8. And again, going back to our original equation, we had this nested absolute value expression. So we had to deal with the larger absolute value first, and we broke them up into these two equations. But of course, those two equations still had absolute value expressions in them. So we had to break those two up as well. So we had four total. We solved them, got four answers, checked all four, and all four worked. So that's how we can solve a nested absolute value equation.